This is breaking news from the 7 Action Newsroom. And we begin with breaking developments in what started as an Amber Alert early this morning. You'll remember a baby was taken by car thieves when her father left her in the car with the engine running. This was on the east side. Well, a little over an hour ago, police found that vehicle in Harper Woods. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us from the original scene of the crime. And Kim, are there any suspects in custody yet? Well, unfortunately, I'm told the stolen car suspects are still at large, but in Harper Woods, one female juvenile is being detained to see what she may know about all of this. Now, this all started around 1 a.m. here on Harper outside this liquor store. This is where Dakota was left outside in her father's car. Late this afternoon, police find the 2006 white Impala that little Dakota was in when it was stolen. It was found in Harper Woods hours after three month old Dakota was recovered. She's doing good. The mother of baby Dakota relieved that her daughter was found safe. Around 1 a.m., Dakota was in the back seat of her dad's white Impala, but then 31 year old Brandon Grimes decided to make a quick stop at this party store. He left the engine running and Dakota inside. What happened next? Three men got in with Dakota and took off. I was devastated. They saw an opportunity, they jumped in a car, and after they pulled off, they realized it was a child. And that may be why about a mile away, the men wanted to be car thieves, but not kidnappers. They put baby Dakota on a porch in the cold temperatures and left, but she wasn't found until around 7.15 this morning. I flipped. <laughs> I flipped out. I said, I'm glad I found the baby. You know, anything could have happened. Police Chief James Craig had a chat with Dakota's dad, who left her in the car with that engine running. And I shared this with him. I explained it just this way to him. I'm angry with you. Why would you be out at 1 o'clock in the morning with a, with a child? Now, I understand he did drop the mother off, but not just so much being out at 1 o'clock in the morning was the fact that he left the child in the car, the car running. And that's a recipe for what? A bad situation. And Detroit police are examining surveillance videos from the area. Now, Dakota's dad, we're told, is from the Flint area, but he came here to Detroit to visit a cousin. Dakota is now safe with her mom back in Flint. Reporting live from the city's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Kim, so glad the police chief said what we were all thinking. Thank you much. Detroit.